not a popular guy today. Your weather canceled <laughs> the homecoming parade. It's canceling football games. I mean, we games. told you like every day this week. Though, I mean, so. you did warn yeah. us. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. It was a thumbs down day, if you recall. <laughs> uh, tomorrow, a thumbs up day. A little bit of rain early okay. on, but the second half of tomorrow should be better. But the story right now is all the rain and more storms moving in. You can see on Doppler radar that Lansing, even Jackson now seeing some dry time, but it won't last as we have this next batch moving to the east. A lot of lightning and thunder also with it. On top of that, again, some very heavy rain. We've already had a good dose of rain. We'll get a good dose from this and another good dose with the cold front. That comes in later on tonight, but this all again moving to the east. So if you're in the Lansing area down towards Jackson, you're likely going to see this within the hour, probably staying with us for the next hour and a half, maybe two hours, and then we'll see more storms return after that. So it's going to be a busy, active night. That's for sure on campus right now. The roads are still wet, but trying to dry out at least for the time being. The rain cool there is around. We're all in the low to mid 60s, a few upper 60s in some spots, but we're going to be seeing numbers like this for the next few days with the cool air in place. So that first batch now through, but you can see round two again just off to the west of us moving in. Then there's the actual front itself back to the west. This front is producing more showers and thunderstorms. It's not until this front gets through overnight tonight that we really get rid of the severe threat, the heavy rain threat and the flooding threat. A couple of showers may linger tomorrow, but not really going to do much uh, in the way of rainfall on top of what we'll get here tonight. So future track shows now through 10 o'clock. Again, more showers and thunderstorms were expected to move in. Some of these could be strong to severe. I really think our best chance to see the strongest storm is going to be closer to midnight, maybe 1 a.m. That's when the actual front swings through and you can see it. Some very heavy rain, maybe some hail as well. On top of that, I really think the flooding threat is going to be our biggest concern. We may see some strong winds, but given the amount of rain we've already had, what we're getting in the next hour and what we'll get past midnight, some flooding will definitely be a concern. Fast forward to uh, Saturday morning at about 8 a.m. You'll see we are trying to dry out, but a couple of spotty showers will linger even into the early afternoon as well. Some stray shower activity may be out there. The second half of Saturday, though, I do think is better. Cooler, drier air works its way in, so we may even see some sunshine. Some before it sets on Saturday. As for Sunday, a few more showers, maybe a couple of thunderstorms expected to move back through. Not an all day event, but we'll see some more action on your Sunday. Talking about the severe threats tonight, I think the biggest concern is flooding. Again, a lot of rain is falling. That being said, some strong winds and some hail will also be possible. Quickly, we'll talk about the game tomorrow. A few showers, very spotty to start the day, but as we head through the game time and especially towards the game's ending, uh, we'll see kind of a mostly cloudy sky becoming partly cloudy. But it will be a touch cool, right? So go ahead and grab the rain jacket if you're heading out to the game. Lows near 60 overnight tonight with showers and thunderstorms. Should be ending around 2 or 3 a.m. And again, some of those could be on the strong to severe side. A few showers early tomorrow, then maybe some sunshine before it sets later in the afternoon. Highs will be in the upper 60s. A few more showers, maybe a thunderstorm on Sunday, but not a washout. Back to summer. Monday and Tuesday 80s for highs with more rain expected for the middle part of next week. Notice 83 Tuesday 60 by Friday, so a big change next yeah, week. You're not helping me decide when to take these window air conditioning units I have out <laughs> because the 80s keep I would, coming I back. I would hang on to them. Just turn them off until Monday. All right. Yeah. Good advice, Brett. Thank you.